my name's Holly and I am a Kent based multimedia artist. I mainly enjoy illustration using watercolour, pen and ink. Um, I like to evolve my illustrations into many different other forms. So as you can see from behind me, um, I've evolved them into embroidery. I've got some framed original work there as well. I'm just going to give you a little insight to my bedroom wall. So I've got most of my new work displayed as a collection. I absolutely love it because of all the different colours. Um, in lockdown, I have dabbled with resin um, and I can't get enough of it. I'm absolutely obsessed. I've been making my own moulds um, and oh, shopping as well. Um, I've brought quite a lot of different moulds and experimented with different painting techniques um, using um, powders and acrylic paint and inks um, for the resin and yeah it's it's been quite a fun lockdown actually um, because I've had so much time to experiment and you, there's so many things you can do with resin as well um, so what I'm going to do instead of recording this for my bedroom I'm going to give you a little tour of how I do what I do and show you how chaotic my creative spaces are. So in my bedroom, this space here is my dust free, as dust free as I can get it. This is behind this curtain is where I pour and let my resin to set. So I'm just gonna un unravel my little space as professionally as possible. So this is what I've been working on recently. I've had a custom order for this Sphinx head. She wanted red and gold. So I poured this out yesterday. I have quick setting resin for 12 hours. So it will take me about six minutes to um, measure out, mix up, and then put all the colours and all the sparkly bits that I want into it get it all poured and then I literally just leave it and it's brilliant. Um, we've got some little ring trays that I've been working on. I have a bat that has not quite finished so the first layer is done. I'm going to get some acrylic paint and um, make his bones pop so you can see it better. I've got some little earrings. Uh, another statement necklace here. So this is where all my resin gets poured out and left to set. Um, my next little clip will be my studio, which is outside in my garden. Um, I'm going to apologise now. If you think this is messy, you just wait until you get to the studio. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is my studio. Um, it's yeah as you can see it is absolutely chaotic but this is how i work i know exactly where everything is if i'm sat at my desk working on something here i'll know exactly where i need to go for bits and pieces that i have um i i'm sure people with ocd right now are absolutely screaming but it works for me um everyone's different so I'll just go over here. So I enjoy um, recycling. So every time I order something, especially off Amazon, their boxes are amazing. So I use these as a backing card, get some colour on it, and then handwrite all everywhere that I am. So we've got Instagram, Facebook, and Etsy. And my little business is called Dead Bunny Creations. I've been working um, on using wood and resin together. So I got these wooden plaques and then decorated them and finished them off with the resin so they're protected. Um, I'm working on a little order at the moment. I got one through this morning. I have a few necklaces here. Another little order that I'm putting together, making sure I've got enough chains to finish off. My necklaces, got a few stickers here that I use to insert into my resin. Um, 
these are my new new collection of shakers the pokemon um i'm absolutely obsessed with pokemon and have been since i was about 10 years old um it's one of those things that i'll never let go holding on to my childhood so we've got in here we've got some new little stud that i've used uh, that i've made stud earrings sorry and some dingly dangly ones so i'm also in the middle of getting ready for a market for my first one at the end of this month this is the first one since lockdown so i've got a few key rings there that i've been dabbling with so i've used um some alloy keys some um uv resin which is another um material than the eco resin that i use so these ones here these are all made out of eco resin which is actually made out of tree sap i've made some shakers they're very very cute very fiddly but very very cute and they look lovely in the sunlight because they've got lots of sparkles in them um i'm also a printmaker so i i studied um fine art when i was at uni um and if you couldn't find me i'd always be in the dark room or in the silk screen printing room um this here this is my little logo for dead bunny creations this is my first ever illustration that i did back in oh gosh i think 2012 um and i've been using it and working on it and changing her and she's now printed on all my little mailing boxes that i send out so at the beginning of lockdown i was using shrink plastic and finding different plastics to use around the house to see which ones would um, would come out better. And believe it or not, the bottom of grape palettes is this, this is what these ones are made out of. Uh, God, ignore this. This is this still needs sorting out. Um, these are all my little boxes that I've been printing on. This is my friend Fred. He's been living with me for about, I would say, five years. He appears sometimes on market stores just because, you know, he's cool. I'm also, I've made some placards for um, Dover Digital Pride this year. Hopefully you'll see me in the little march. And then over here, I'm sorting out, um, like I say, some of my stock for my, um, for my first market. This is what I've been working on. So I made... Um, a silicone mould with this frame that I found in a charity shop. I'm a little bit obsessed with um, Animal Crossing as well, just because it's so cute. There we go. And then my favourite, absolute favourite film when I was a kid is Beetlejuice. So I just, I, oh, I just have to. I love a bit of sand eel. There we go. And then, oh yeah, and Nightmare Before Christmas. So when I when I get my own place and my first pet is his name or her name is going to be called Zero for sure. So this is all the new stuff that I've been working on over in lockdown. Um, again, apologies for the mess, but this is how I work. It's just chaotic, but it's organised chaos.